Hey, what is going on you guys? This is Zach with JZB Media and today I'm coming to you with the tip of how to quickly change the color of a logo, image, or other graphical element from one color to another using Photoshop. So let's get started. So we're going to be working with five different files here. We have one PNG file and four different SVG files. We're going to be changing the color of all of these images from their current color to a dark black color. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure you have your image ready and that you have your layers panel pulled up. So if we take a look at the bottom right of my screen, I have my layers panel here. The first thing you want to check is if your layer that you're trying to edit is unlocked. Uh, if it's locked, it'll have a little lock icon next to it. Just double click on that layer and unlock it. All you have to do is double click and press OK on the next prompt that comes up on your screen and that layer will be unlocked. So once it's unlocked, it is directly editable and that's what we want. So if your screen looks like mine and your layer is unlocked, next go to the bottom and click on the FX or Effects panel. Once you click on Effects, go ahead and click on Color Overlay. And then once you have Cover Overlay selected, you're going to be shown uh, this screen. All you have to do here is leave Blend Mode to Normal and then click on the box that shows the color right next to the blend mode. And then here is where you'll select your desired color that you wanna change your image to. Uh, so here I already have the hex code for my color, so I'm just gonna type that in. And then once I have that, you'll see in real time your image change in the background, but we're not done yet. Make sure you click OK on both of the prompts. Click OK, click OK and then that image is changed and all you have to do is export it. Now we're gonna do the same thing on these next four images, these four SVG images. So I'm just gonna go one by one. I'm gonna to go to that image, make sure the layer is unlocked, click on effects at the bottom of my layer panel, click on color overlay, and then click on okay. It's already going to have my color saved from the previous image I did. So as long as you do all your images in a row, this is gonna be a really efficient process. I'm gonna to go to the next one, make sure my layer is unlocked, click on effects, color overlay, click okay, and then on to the next one. Make sure the layer is unlocked, effects, color overlay, click okay. And then one more time. And click okay. And that's all it takes. So now all that's left to do is to export these images. So I'm just gonna click on File, Export, Export As. And then on the next window, I'm just going to make sure that our desired format is selected and then click on Export. And then once I've done that, select my source, click Export, and that is it, we are done. I also want to briefly go over two other techniques that are used in Photoshop uh, that a lot of people attempt and then don't get the results that they're looking for. And both of these are uh, replace color tools. They just don't replace color in the same way that we might think of replacing color. So I'm gonna show you those and to do that, I am going to need to send this image back to normal. That way you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, the first method we're going to look at for replacing color is the replace color brush. So to access that brush, just go up to your brushes. It's right uh, below uh, the spot healing brush and it's, it's right here. It says, uh, I think the top one is just the brush tool. So you have to click that one and hold it and then go to color replacement tool. So what this brush does is it replaces or it's supposed to, um, let me rephrase that we would think it's supposed to replace whatever we roll over with our desired color uh, in our palette. So over here on the left, we wanna set our foreground color to what we would want the image to be. So I'm just gonna set this to be black. That way you can see what happens, um, it doesn't turn black. So whenever I go over this color with my brush, it, it goes to this uh, grayish color. Uh, and the reason for that is this tool, along with another one that we're about to go over, uh, they use a different blending method um, that's different from the method that we went over at the beginning of the video. 
um, and it leaves the image brightness the same and only replaces the original color and that's why we get this undesired effect of this blend and we get this a uh, gray or a different undesired color depending on the image that we're trying to overwrite. Um, so that is one method um, that is the color replacement tool and used as a brush and we can see that it doesn't give us the results that we want. Uh, there is one more way that I want to show you guys how um, this, how not to do it essentially. The other option is to go into the image options on the very top, go to adjustments, and then scroll down to where it says replace color. Now this tool is kind of uh, the same thing, it's just doing it all at once. So uh, on the very top here where it says color, all we want to do is select, uh, use our eyedropper tool to select the color that we're wanting to target. And then on the result uh, box at the very bottom here is where we'll select the color that we want to get it to. So I'm going to use black again, that way we can see that we're not going to get our desired effect. So now we have this like red hueish color um, instead of the dark black color that we initially wanted. So we can see already that this is not giving us the desired result. Um, and because of that, the best option is to use the uh, method that we just went through, which is having our image, having our layer unlocked, scrolling down or going down to the effects tab, using the color overlay option, selecting our color that we want to replace or using the color that we want to have um, as the in color, then press OK, and then press OK. And that gives us the result that we're looking for. Uh, I really hope this video helped you guys. Uh, I want to do my best to reach out and help as many people as I can. Uh, if you have a different way of doing this, I would love to hear that in the comments below. Uh, and please uh, visit us at our website at jzbmedia.com. Thanks and have a great day.